How are we doing guys? Carmen here. Today I'm doing another review on another one of my Lionel locomotives. This here is the Lionel Legacy Blue Comet. The item number is 6-11335. This premiered in the Lionel 2012 Signature Edition catalog. The locomotive has Odyssey 2 speed control and Legacy rail sounds. Now, a quick little bit of background on this locomotive. This is actually my favorite train. I am a huge fan of the Central Railroad of New Jersey and their history, as well as a couple of other railroads, but the Blue Comet has always been my train ever since I was a young kid. I've had so many different variants of it and models, and this is definitely my crown jewel. I know it's not a big boy, it's not a cab forward, it's not one of the big fancy trains, but this locomotive holds a lot of value and significance to me personally, and that's why I'm deciding to do a review on it. Now, a little bit of history. Um, the Blue Comet was operated by the Central Railroad of New Jersey from 1929 to 1941. The Depression is actually one of the things that put an end to this train and its trips. It actually had a very short lifespan. It ran between New York and Atlantic City. The locomotives were brand new at the time. G3 Pacific well, was having the G3 Pacifics haul the Blue Comet. The Central Railroad of New Jersey also had two other G3 Pacifics painted for special trains. Number 834 was painted an olive green and hauled the bullet, and number 835 was painted a gloss black and hauled the queen of the valley. Now that you have background history on the real Blue Comet, Lionel's model number 6-11335 premiered in the Lionel 2012 Signature Edition catalog. The locomotive has legacy rail sounds, Odyssey 2 speed control, fan-driven smoke units, and the smoking quillable whistle, as well as the wireless drawbar. Okay guys, now up on the model, we're gonna start from the front. Up here, we see a dummy scale O-gauge coupler that actually can be removed and replaced with a O-gauge coupler for double heading. We have a nicely detailed coupler cut bar that kinda of, sorta of moves up and down, not a whole lot, but it does move. We have the boiler front here with the green illuminated marker lights, as well as the LED headlight and the boiler front that swings open like that, and it snaps back with a magnet. Up on the front of the locomotive, we have the die-cast metal feed water heater, and we have a replica of the Blue Comet train sign, which I will swing around now and get a picture of that for you guys. Here's the front of the locomotive. We can see we have a nice die-cast metal little tool chest up here. They actually don't open, but they are molded in, has some nice detail. There's your headlight, your scale marker lights, and that beautiful Blue Comet train sign. That is actually made out of brass and hand-painted, so they did a very, very good job with that. Moving along the side of the locomotive, we have the separately applied um, builder's plates that Lionel is known for that I really, really like that I've specified before. Die cast metal cylinder chest, your fan driven operating smoke unit. Now to obviously fill the smoke unit with smoke fluid, you just pour the smoke right down the smokestack. We have your sand dome up front. Behind it, we have a small swinging brass bell. Very nice turned brass bell. Behind that, we have the steam dome with your brass painted whistle and the hole underneath it for the steam's whistle smoke effect. Behind that are some more brass painted pop-off valves. Right behind the pop-off valves, we have a separately applied detail up here, separately applied dynamo here, as well as separately applied handrails running down the length of the boiler. Getting in closer to the drive gear, we have the nice die cast metal side rods, which are that nice satin type look that I really go nuts about on Lionel. We have the beautifully painted in uh, gold trim drivers, which look awesome when the locomotive is in Up motion. on the top of the cab, you have die cast metal sliding roof hatches. They slide forwards and backwards like that, nice and easy. And you have the steam dome, which I said earlier. Now, in order to load smoke fluid for the whistle, you actually grab the steam dome, pull it off, and you pour the smoke fluid right down the large hole behind it. Then you just replace the steam dome, and you're ready to Here's go. The inside of the cab, as you can tell, it's pretty well detailed. You have the operating firebox glow on the bottom while the locomotive is in motion. You have some hand-painted gauges up at the top right as well as the engineer and fireman figures and some separately applied valves at the very top. All right guys, here's the engineer side. Here you can see the beautifully applied 832 number as well as the locomotive class number underneath it that is legible. The engineer figures, the windows and the cab window glass. You can see a lot more of the separately applied piping which runs the length of the locomotive, the separately applied handrails, dynamo and the legible builders plates. The one thing I did forget to mention that this locomotive does have the operating ash pan glow. It will actually glow red here when the locomotive is in motion. As the locomotive gets faster, the light gets brighter. As it slows down, the light gets dimmer. 
If you guys didn't notice, the one thing I did do on this locomotive aesthetically is I actually changed the crew figures. The figures that come with it from the Lionel factory are these guys here, and they're kind of bland to me. I call them zombies because that's what they look like. I actually pulled them out, and this may be blasphemy for some Lionel guys, but I put MTH uh, firemen and engineer figures in there. I think they have a little bit more life to them and they look a lot nicer, but that's just my opinion. All right, guys, now we're gonna be looking at the tender. Along each side of the tender, you have some nice cast-in rivet detail, as long as a nice clean and crisp New Jersey Central logo in the center. Some more gold pinstriping along the sides. On the front, you have some nice basic cast-in detail, some separately applied handrails, and a real separately applied coal load on the top. All right, guys, on the back of the tender, Here's the other side. You can see the pinstriping in gold along the side. Another nice New Jersey Central logo. You have the operating marker lights, separately applied ladder, separately applied coupler cut bar that swings up and down like that. You have the operating electro coupler. You have an opening and closing water hatch on the top here that actually holds your volume control for your legacy rail sounds. And you have die cast metal trucks on the other side. Alrighty guys, now we're gonna start it up and I'm gonna show you some of the sounds and the features. I do wanna just make a side note that this locomotive does come with the Lionel orange chip that plugs into the top of your legacy remote that will actually pre-program the engine into the remote so you guys don't have to name it or do any of that stuff. So I'm gonna do our startup here and you guys will be able to see everything she does. So enjoy it. Dispatcher here, do you copy? Over. I read you, over. Please start up and stand by. Now, once again, I do want to point out the Lionel smoke generators do take a little bit longer to heat up. As you can tell, it's starting to blow smoke now. So the first function I'm going to go to is the bell. So you press up on the bell and you hold it for a few seconds. Now that bell, you have an option on the Lionel Legacy Remote to actually have the bell ring continuously, or you can do single hits by just pressing up one time. So I can do it as much as I want. Now the next thing is the whistle. Now the whistle that came with this locomotive from the factory was a completely different whistle. In fact, it sounded a little odd, and it actually was the exact same whistle that was in Lionel's Alton Limited. Um, so when I started reading on some of the forums and things like that, Lionel actually had a warranty option where you could send a locomotive in and they could replace it with the correct whistle. And I think this thing sounds a ton better. The one on the Alton Limited, don't get me wrong, it sounds good, but it just didn't sound like a beefy steam whistle to me. But this is the new whistle. I'm going to go through some of the functions and let you guys hear it. such a good job with it. Next, I'm going to do the water being loaded into the tender. Now, the way that works is you press and hold the button down. The longer you press it, the longer the water noise will sound. So here we go. The next sound I'm going to do is the steam locomotive blowdown effect. Same thing, the longer you hold the button, the longer it will go for. Next sound I'm going to do is some of the crew talk. Now, like I've said before, the Lionel crew talk is a little bit more simplified compared to the MTH. Um, if you're not a big fan of it, you don't have to use it. I personally do like it and it is grown on me a little bit because it's not like you have to have crew talk for a specific named train. So for example, if I'm running this with New York Central passenger cars, it's not like it's gonna be doing the Blue Comet arrival and departure announcements. It's just something very generic. So here we go. Dispatcher, coupled up, can I move? Yes, you're cleared onto the main. Over. Copy. 
copy that. I have a clear signal out. Dispatcher here, take the green, over. Roger that, I'm green, out. Alrighty guys, now we're gonna do a few run bys to let you have a look at this thing in motion. Um, I am gonna put it in sequence control, and what sequence control does is it actually plays automatic um, starting and stopping functions of the locomotive. The way you activate that is you press and hold the aux one key, you will hear a bell ring twice, and the whistle blow once. So here we go. Alrighty guys, that's it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing one of my favorite trains ever. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I will hopefully be able to do more review videos in the future. Have a good day.